Good day, comic fam. Comics of the Voice here, and welcome to the basement comic book room. So I've got my little studio set up down here, and today I'm going to do a room tour. So I've already filmed all this stuff on here, and I'm going to show you guys what I've done to this room and kind of what the plans are. And I'll see you guys after the tour. So stay tuned. Good day, comic fam. Well, here it is. The long-awaited comic book room in the basement. You guys can compare this one to the video that I shot before about the other room tour and the way this room used to look and how it looks now. What an amazing transformation. The floor was just concrete with some crappy tiles from the 60s. The walls is that wood paneling and the top had wallpaper on it with these ugly flowers that I was starting to cover up. But now we got this beautiful, vibrant image green. And here, now I'm set up down here. I haven't done the ceiling yet. See, ceiling's still messed up. I got to put up the, uh, the other tiles, so I'll try to refrain. And you guys can kind of drink this in. So I got my girl, Wonder Woman. I got Stan side by side up here. I don't know what I'm doing with this space yet. I just put that couch thing there, like a fainting couch or something. Behind the door, I've got uh, a rack here where I can hang up some stuff, my bag, when I go to cons. I haven't quite finished the floor down here because, oh, there, there, that can be, give you a comparison. So the floor in here almost looked all like that with some cruddy tile on it. And now it looks like this with my beautiful cabinets. I got this nice antique table that's big enough to put all my studio essentially. So now I got my laptop set up. I got my microphone. Even my display is set up right now. I've just got it on a bunch of uh, previews, but I'll find some kind of box or something. I'll make something more permanent. And then I've started with this J channel on the wall that I had up before. Uh, it's just Home Depot J Channel, right? It's the stuff you get for a siding for a house. And I'm going to put three rows up here. So I'll have two rows of raws, and then I've got enough space at the top there that I can do a slab section. And then I'll do the same thing over here. I'll have shorter sections on that wall and also on this wall. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do in this space down here. I kind of like it. Almost leave it nice like this but now my filing cabinets and everything I've got those uh, drawer boxes I got my vertical uh, filing cabinet you guys have seen this before this is that I house all my current books everything that I'm reading now some of these series I have to pull out of here because they're completed now I got uh, my television up in the corner so I can watch Rob and Gary and all the guys, Joe, Anachronic Comics, Matt Woods, everybody. But this is the cabinet that I would love to get another one of these because this thing is just incredible. Being able to pull out an entire drawer and I have four short boxes just boom right there. I can flip through and grab out whatever, whatever books. So this makes it nice and easy. Silver Surfer action, Miles Morales, uh, make sure I bend the bags, all right, so that's really cool, eventually what I'll do is have this thing all marvel, I'd like to actually have two cabinets side by side that are like this if I could ever find one, because then I think it would house everything, so instead I've got this wooden bookshelf that my wife let me use, and I'm able to put all my image books my Marvel and DC overflows. I got Scout Comics, some Boom Studios, and some Dark Horse. And then what's in these um, uh, drawer boxes are all the indie books. Everything that didn't have enough to go into its own short box. And then in the corner I've got my BCW short boxes and a couple of Marvel, uh, those painted ones. And then I just started decorating the walls. You know, I put up my, my Rook Exodus that was signed by Jason Fabok. I've got my Greg Capullo, Wonder Woman, signed here. 
with a picture of me and Greg. And then I just threw some Dark Crisis and Batman stuff on the other side. So this will be a mix wall, you know, like Marvel, DC, Indie, EC. You know, I won't really have much of a theme with it, but now I got my kind of setup here. So I can sit here and film. So you guys will be seeing me from basically this, this point of view from here. And my view is going to be a cool view because I get to sit here and I get to look at Stan and Wonder Woman. And I got my TV up in the corner so I can sit there and watch whatever channels. And if I'm on some channel, I can have that up there while I'm at it. So the room is really coming together now. So I hope, Joe, that gives you a little bit of an idea for your room. Uh, this corner here, I'm still, I'm got, I've got another filing cabinet, a blue one that's just going to have all my um, accessories and stuff, bags, boards, tape, and I'll put a bookshelf over here that I have with my uh, Mad Magazine collection and some of my paperbacks. So, yeah, the room is really coming together. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a quick little tour. And then above the uh, stand and the Wonder Woman there, I've got that little jut out and I can put all my image books, those uh, sideways ones that I have, which is perfect because they fit beautifully. And I've got enough uh, roof tiles to finish and fix uh, all the holes in the roof. These were, these were just some weird tiles that were glued into place, right? And then over the years, the glue let go and they started falling. So I'm going to, I've got an air stapler and I'm just going to hammer some staples up into it and Hopefully that'll hold. And then I'll probably put, uh, my wife suggested some stickers and um, decals and things that I can put all over the ceiling, you know, because it's, it's still kind of ugly and I don't really want to paint it. So I think I'll just camouflage it And there. But the floor was a big thing, you know. So this is that laminate clickety-clack stuff. My back and my knees really hate me right now. And my wife did all the painting because she is the painter. I don't paint. I get uh, thrown out from painting. So there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the room tour. And I'm, I'll probably do another one uh, as I start filling these walls up. You know, once I get the J channel up and I get some ideas for which books. But that's what I love about this stuff. Because, I mean, you get bored with the books, you pull them down, you put up a new set. I got one or two to replace, so it'll be fine. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. So, what do you guys think? Pretty cool, eh? So, this is the room. I got a lot of work to do ahead of me still, but hey, it's the fun stuff now. Putting up J Channel, putting up books. Um, I was talking on Joe's channel the other night. If you're looking at filing cabinets, make sure you take a couple of books with you because the, the red one that I have there that I showed you in the video... I've heavily modified that. I had to cut out sections with the grinder there to make those books stand up like that. Otherwise, typically in filing cabinets, the, the vertical ones, you'd have to put the books on their side. Um, you couldn't stand them up like that because they'll hit. So unless you got somebody who knows how to weld and grind and modify stuff, then have at it. But the horizontal one, now that's, that's a cool one. I need to find more of those. And yeah, slowly getting decorations and stuff put up i was going to film this without all this stuff on the wall but it's like ugh, glaring green so as i put more books on the wall it'll mute down a little bit except for down in here you're always going to see this this green so that is the preliminaries of the room so you're going to see red or green one of the two <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys on the next one take care